Great, we got Eric in the house too. Um, we're gonna do some targeted mobility today with the Turkish Geta. Some of you guys may have seen some stuff like this before um, and um, have seen other uh, mix, uh, mixes with the SOS Geta. Um, but we're gonna focus on the Turkish get up and like hang out in each position and do some really cool stuff that we learned from Flexible Steel. With no weight, Eric. With I know no, you yeah. just did like yeah, 10 yeah. minutes. Yeah, Eric, <laughs> he's like, give me a weight, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, so give yourself some space where you can spread your hands and your feet and not run into anything and make me on the floor. All right, so the first uh, part, you guys know is rolling to the el uh, elbow. Uh, for this mobility stuff, we, we call this rolling 45s. We're going to be starting in our start position, right? Have one hand up, one foot out to the side. And for the first part, we're going to go nice and slow and emphasize the push of the foot and the push down with the elbow. So that way you can have your hand up or down, totally up to you, and kick off the floor, roll to the elbow, and hang out here. Control back, and then we're going to switch sides right away and do the same thing. We're going to start off with a nice slow pace. Going up and down. Making sure that we're pushing off the foot and pushing out with the elbow. What I would like for you guys to actually try is to raise your Bent knee, raise your bent elbow or your uh, elbow you're planning to use, and then stomp it into the ground and roll. I'll do that on the other side. So I'm raising my foot, raising my elbow, and then divide. Give that a try. Thanks. Switching to the other side, raising my foot, elbow, and drop. Good. Then slowly you start to pick up the speed. Go a little faster. Focusing on those two points. Nice switch. Yeah. Try to pick up the speed, go a little bit more. Nice, Eric. Good, Dave. Trying to see if you can pick up a little bit faster. And then, like, switch right away, Dave. Other side. Boom. And as you're going faster for Dave, you can start to just keep your, uh, you know, have to emphasize more on the stomp and the uh, and elevation of the hand. You can just switch and then go for it. Good. Yeah. Switch. And drop. All right. We got about 30 more seconds. Keep switch. Keep switch. And now we're kind of just flowing into it, going back and forth. Nice. Beautiful, Eric. Beautiful. Nice, Dave. Yup. Switching to the side and then drop right into it. Good. Three, two, one. Let's get to our right elbow. And let's pause right here. We're going to do some heartbeats. So, what I want you to do is to actually, or think like bad shoulder position. So maybe I'll show you from this angle. I'm actually pulling my shoulders in towards each other. And then I'm opening, going to a good position. Closing. And then open. Let's all do that for this side. Close. Trying to get at least 10. And open. Close. And open. You might even notice that as I close, I kind of almost like, be, uh, I'm almost pushing back <clears throat> and open. Close, open. Close, open, 
shrug, and tight shrug. Let's go for three more. One, two, and three, and let's switch sides. And we'll do the same. Close, and open. Close, open. It's also a, a secret way to help you realize what's a good position and what's a not so good position. Open that chest, and then it's like you're collapsing and closing in the chest. Let's go for five more. One, two, keep reaching up that arm as well, the top side, three, four, and five. Let's get to the tall sit on whatever side you're on. And we're gonna work on the sweeps. So for these sweeps, I want you to imagine like we're gonna try to swing our leg to that three-point stance and then swing our leg through. As you swing your knee back to that three-point stance for the first couple reps, like take a moment to look down to make sure you, you're hitting that point. Knee lined up with the hand, knee lined up with the heel, the foot on the back side. And then you can just swing your leg, your, your leg out. Go to your three-point stance, look down, double check, and then just swing your leg out like you're trying to kick it. All right, we're gonna start off slow. So you can go slow for like five reps. The next five, try to pick up the pace. And then the following five, try to go with a little bit more speed. Gives us a chance to kind of groove this pattern. I am trying to maintain a nice packed shoulder with my hand driving off this bent knee back and forth. Nice. Swing. Okay. Good. Double check if you need to. Nice. We're picking up the pace now. Back and forth. Woo. We'll go for five more. One, two, nice team. Three, four, and five. Let's say we're back on the ground. We can just simply switch. And let's do that side two. Good position. First five, nice and slow. Look down, take a peek. So I got the position I'm looking for, great. And then slide and kick. Three point stance, check, and then kick. Here's where you're trying to imagine, okay, this is where I'm always looking to get my knee. So that way when we start to pick up the pace, we just hit that spot every time. Kick. Take a beat down, this is three for me. And then kick. Four and five. Next five, we're gonna go a little faster. And kick. Nice. All well, these these low sweep swings. <laughs> we're break dancing, team. We're break dancing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. These next five, we'll go a little faster. And just kick it out. Then I'm really doing some break dancing. At any moment, you're like, ooh, my arm on the top side is getting fatigued. Feel free to bring it down towards your chest, and you can also do it like this. That's fine. Especially uh, Eric, he did his AGT. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Turkish get up. I'm gonna go for two more. Three, four, and five. Nice. All right, team. Now from here, we're gonna use this hand 
We're going to be in this three point stance and we're going to thread the needle through, reach our arm across, like I'm trying to reach my fingertips towards the sliding doors, almost drop my shoulder towards the ground, and then rotate, bring my arm up, fingers up towards the ceiling, and then find the point where my hand stops, and then when I go for my next one, I'm gonna go ahead and imagine as I come back up, can I reach even further back? Because we don't have a kettlebell here, we're gonna have the freedom to then reach very further back than we would like in an actual uh, weight in our hand. But this is intentional. I really want you to see how far you can reach back each and every time. So I'll thread the needle through. And then come back up and see, can I rotate even further? And then back down. Let's do this together. Reaching the arm in, rotate, hand up towards the ceiling, can I reach even further back? So we should now start to feel like we're rotating in that T-spine. It should feel really good. About, let's go for a couple more. 30 more seconds. Hopefully, as you're doing this, you're feeling like you're getting more and more rotation. Last five, four, three, two, and then let's switch sides. And that three point stance, and it's lined up with the knee. Very good. Thread the needle through, arm across, and then hands up towards the ceiling. Find your point and see if on the next one you can go even further. So far, so good, team. Think about that bent knee. I'm trying to spread that bent knee out. As I come in, I'll let it kind of come in as well so I can reach even further across. But as I rotate up, I'm spreading that knee out. Trying to squeeze in two more. Beautiful. And then let's get into our half kneeling position. And for me, I'm having my right knee up, right hand up. From here, what we're gonna do is lunge up to standing. And then from here, then we're gonna go ahead and imagine like we're on, uh, on some skis and we're gonna reach back with the foot and then we're gonna slowly hover right above the ground. Hover, 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 and then let it drop. And then let it back up again. Boom. Same side, I'll step back. I got some skis, lunge down, hover right above, and then let it drop. We're gonna go for five per side. And then lunge up again. Always remember, tap the leg, on your thigh to, re to remind yourself which one to come down with. Step back, then grab some keys, hover right above the ground, and then drop. Let's go for five. Once you're done, then we'll just simply switch. That's three for me. Lunge back, hover, and drop. Back, 
cover, and drop. This is actually quite tough for a lot of people in this position. So it's a secret way to remind ourselves when we're doing our get-ups that we're not just, drip, just dropping and collapsing, but we're getting right above and then drop. Missing. Step back, hover above the ground, then gently park. Lunge it up. Again, if your hands are getting fatigued, just bring it down here to a rack position. That's cool too. Two for me on my other side. Four. I'm on these square train tracks, rural tracks. Last one for me. And then gently drop. Let's get back into our half kneeling position into a three point stance. We're going to hinge and bring our arm down. Excellent. Everyone knows this, this position here. What we're going to do next is see if we can get down towards our elbow. Hinge into the elbow position. Nice. Excellent. Again, a little deeper here. If you can, then use your hips to come back up to the hand and then finish with the hips. You can make this all in one pathway where you just go directly to the elbow and then just come right back up out of it, finishing the hip. Let me show you from this angle. Here, hinging, 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 hips back, hips back, and we'll connect to the elbow, to the ground. And then pushing my hips forward to come out. Let's go for the next 30 seconds. Nice, this can be a toughie. I'm also focusing my eyes up at my hand. Just like I would with my kettlebell in my hand. Fifteen more seconds. And then we'll switch and do the same on the other side. Right knee up for me, so my right hand will be up. Come down to my hand if I like to first, and then make my trip down to the elbow. Oh yeah, and take a moment to use that elbow to pry open that chest. You can hang out there for a little bit. Nice, so see Eric and Dave, you both have your toes on the bottom knee connected, that's fine. If that's a little uncomfortable for anyone watching the recording later, then you can also just point your toes. Let's make it more doable. Let's go for another 15 more seconds. Getting deep in that hinge. Elbow connects. Right open that chest. Touch the forearm, down to the ground, with our hip pinch. Great. Since you're ready down the elbow, finish it. <laughs> Come back down to the ground. Oh. And there goes that targeted Turkish get up series. 
Let's do one more thing since we have like about a couple of uh, minutes with us and let's get into a nice, good stretch. Um, I think even Coach Mel did this one and, or put it in the mobility discord. Um, the pterodactyl. Might have heard this stretch called the pigeon, but John Higgins says the pterodactyl sounds like a way uh, a stronger bird. <laughs> so here's the setup for it. We're gonna be on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and bring one foot over the bent knee. Either side is cool. Then we're gonna turn that bent knee leg out towards my left side a little bit more. Maybe you guys can see better with this angle. Right now I have a triangle and I'm gonna try to shorten this triangle. So what I'll do is I'll grab my shin and try to bring it in closer to make it an even smaller triangle. Excellent. Point your toe a little bit out to the side. For me, my left side, so I'm pointing more out towards the left. Excellent. So this is gonna be targeting that, for me, my right glute, mostly. So what I want you to continue, continuous, continuously do is pulse, slightly just do these little pumps, bringing that shin and knee up towards your chest. And I'm using both hands for this. Just gently pushing and pulling. Exhale. Making sure that triangle is nice and small. Getting a nice good stretch of that, again, that glute area slash maybe even your hip. All right, now try to bring it in as close as you can and try to hang out there. And from there, don't go any further back, but just try to pump it even closer from that point. Hopefully I'm making sense. Woo. So I found my new spot. I'm not trying to move any further back from that new spot and just pulling it nice and close now. Hopefully you're feeling a deeper stretch, even more so than the glutes. All right, try to pull it in one more time, a little closer. And now I'm hanging out here. I'm pumping just a little bit. Give me three deep breaths. And now in. Nice and slow exhale. Inhale, and then exhale. Take one more, and then exhale. Sweet. Slowly let go. Take that foot off. Straighten it out. Shake it out. Whatever you need to do. And then we'll just keep it out, call it a day. Me, I'm going to bend my right knee now and then bring my left foot over. I'm going to try to make this triangle even smaller, so I'm going to bring it in, bring that foot across, and I'm just now going to set my right foot out towards the right even more. This angle is going to help me get right in here to my left glute. So if you're not feeling it up, sometimes you're gonna to need to even pivot out more to the right so you can target that area. And then start with your mini pulses, pumps, and then do your breathing. Good. 
you're feeling it, go ahead and just hang out wherever you're at. In a moment, we'll start to see if we can drag and pull in that knee slash shin foot closer. All right, see if you can bring it in closer, find a new point, and hang out there. And then start, start to pump it in only from that point. I find that sometimes I need to readjust my bent knee that's on the ground to come out a little bit more to the side. So if that's what you need to do to adjust as you get deeper, do it. And I'm using my two hands. For me, my left hand on my uh, left knee and my right hand on my ankle slash shin to kind of pull the end every time I pump or try to find a new spot. All right, I'm going to go in for one more time. Try to pull it in even deeper. Woo! Now my left glutes and even a little bit of my hamstring is talking to me. I'm going to keep that new spot and just keep pumping in. And then let's go for those three deep breaths. All right, gonna slowly just let go, come out, unwind. How did that feel, team? It was a great one after Dave's squats. Yeah, Dave, you should have felt like this was money after the squat. Uh, <laughs> like, ooh, my glutes is talking to me. Um, but yeah, team. That's some of the some of the cool stuff that we learned from um, two weekends ago, and this month has flew by fast with the uh, flexible steel. And John Engel, who's also a master uh, strong force instructor, and he, he gave us a lot of cool tools that we kind of use already, but just souped it up. Um, so yeah, we will continue to share with that on the mobility classes. And uh, as always, any questions?